I've got a new fish turn up, so uh, I've got a new koi. Hey, Mrs. Whisperer, which is an absolute bargain. Into a nice fish, I'm sure it'll look nice through the window. Daisy. Daisy the second, or just Daisy? What does the O stand for? Oh my God, it's early. Koi's been in the pond now about five, six hours. Get on, girl. Thank your mother for the burgers, how about that? Absolutely, Ziama. I'm not sure if he changed his name from Springbank Koi to... On this group, he does Koi auctions all of the time. Hello everyone, welcome back. James the Koi Whisperer. This is a real quick video. Just got home from work on my lunch break. And, um, well, i got a new fish turn up. Let me spin the camera around and we'll just crack right on with this video. And so i got a new Koi. got the Koi delivered to my workplace. I get an hour lunch break, so I've just nipped home on my lunch break. I'll grab it out in a second. I'm just letting the fish acclimatize a minute. The temperature of the pond. And um, yeah, I'll show you a little bit more about the fish in a minute. It's a bit hot and humid today, to be fair with you. In a bit of a rush to put the fish in the pond. I don't think I'm gonna bother. Normally I would uh, do a little scrape on the fish just to check to see if there's any parasite. Obviously I've got nowhere to put the fish anyway. And obviously time at the moment, getting back to work, introducing a koi to the pond. I want to give it at least 15 20 minutes where i can stand here and watch the fish ideally it's not the best in the world but you've got to make do with these situations you get a fish delivered I'll tell you a little story about it yeah so i was bidding on this fish i had a few beers i was bidding on it didn't expect to win the bid it went above the price range that i was willing to pay and uh the, the couple people in front of me they actually retracted their bids and clayton and offered me if i wanted it for my final bid which was 66 quid which is an absolute bargain it looks a little bit veiny in the bag but obviously transporting it overnight probably a bit stressed out but yeah the color pattern on it looked very much like my old fish daisy that's why i bid on it so uh just give a little measure up just under the um the 30 centimeter mark hopefully the uh the sumi develops a bit better over time it is only a toe size so uh got plenty of plenty of time to develop and do what it needs to do a little bit worried about its pet fin here to be fair whether that's just because transportation i'm hoping it is doesn't look like it's broke or bent just could be the way it's swimming in the bowl but we'll find out in a second hopefully it develops into a nice fish i'm sure it'll look nice through the window i like the pattern across the side here like I said, I bought it off a bit of a whim, really. It's not a fish that I was 100% after. Down to a point, obviously, having a few beers one night. I saw an auction. I thought, oh, the wife wanted it, to be dead honest with you. She wanted another fish, a Shuro, like we used to have with Daisy. I did like the strong strong colour of um, Sumi across the, uh, across the back of its tail. And obviously the half marking. Hopefully a bit more comes, develops up through here on the side of its head. But we'll see over time. It's a nice little fish and for 66 quid, can't go wrong really. And we'll just see what it turns into. For people that don't know, Sumi means black. The black in the, in the fish itself. And um, yeah, I mean, it's not perfect. It's not the best looking fish in the world. Far from it. Not a prize winning koi, but for 66 quid. It is a Japanese koi. I can't remember the breed at the top of my head. But um, yeah, for 66 quid, I can argue. And uh, yeah, hopefully it turns into a nice looking fish. We'll, uh, we'll get it back in. I'll explain a bit more about the uh, the koi auction page. That where I got this fish from, in case anyone else is interested of maybe getting a bargain like I did. Adding a new fish or koi to any pond can create problems. Even if you've got no problems in the pond at the moment adding a new fish can trigger something to happen anyway so you know the next couple of days i'll keep an eye and see what's happening but um yeah let's get this one in here now stop yibbity yabbing and we'll get in the pond just by adding the, the new koi to the pond as well i can i can pretty much tell you that it's a male i felt that it's it's gill plate was really rough like sandpaper rough so um yeah that's generally the sign of of a male fish it looks quite a long lean fish the body might come better on it it's down there the body might come better on it over time but overall for the for the money looks like he's settling in well and the color of the fish looks pretty cool 
especially looking from a side point of view. Hopefully when it gets a bit bigger. I mean, there's nothing wrong having a male. I've got a couple of males in there already. But yeah, you can certainly see the way that the koi behave when a new fish goes in. They're all chasing around this, the new Shuro and uh, to be fair, he's sort of settled in completely fine and that's what you want really. It's what you're looking for, making sure he's not coming up and gasping for any air or anything like that. And uh, the picture quality is not brilliant guys, but I'm in a bit of a rush. I have got to go back to work and hopefully I'll do a little bit more filming for you later on. But I just wanted to show you literally he's just gone in the pond and he's settled in fine swimming with the big ones. It's the only trouble whenever I add any fish to my pond because a lot of my koi are absolutely huge. Even by adding a 30 centimetre koi in the pond, it makes the rest of them, well, it makes it makes the fish itself look tiny, but yeah, believe me or not, some of the fish that I've got here are well over 80 centimetres. Especially that new one, absolutely humongous. But yeah, they all seem fine, settled in all right. All I'm gonna do is add some uh, Evolution Aqua gel into the water just in case there is any ammonia problems in a second, but I don't think there will be. What a day, got home from work, happy days. Oh, look at this lot. Hey, Mrs. Whisperer. <laughs> Scared you then, you on camera. How's the barbie going, sweetheart? Just finished work, what do you think of the new koi? Yeah, she's nice, it's nice. And what's her name? Daisy. Daisy the second or just Daisy? Daisy. Just Daisy. Okay. Happy days. You waiting for a hot dog? You waiting for a hot dog? <laughs> right then, so we're uh, just chilling out here with the fish. Just watching the, the new koi and everything. Everything seems to be absolutely fine. Get on, girl. <laughs> I'll take that one off you. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Use an absolute diamond to me. Normally, I do the barbecuing, but she ain't a bad old cook. Quick burger after work. All we say is thank your mother for the burgers. How about that? So you have to excuse the view from the window because you can see me feet. But it's hot. It's hotter than a snake's ass in a chicken shed. And I'll tell you one thing, that's hot. Damn hot. What does the O stand for? Oh my God, it's early. Anyone know that film? Quality. But yeah, anyway, so uh, just moving on from that real quick. Koi's been in the pond now about five, six hours since lunchtime. And um, yeah, everything seems to be fine. So yeah, one thing for sure guys, that burger, absolutely ziama. But um, yeah, I just really wanted to run through real quickly, because I'm sure I'll get asked in the comment section down below, where did I get the fish from? And I'm not sure if I said exactly in the video. So there's a little WhatsApp group that a man called Clayton from Springbank Koi has started up. He has got his own Facebook page. And I don't know if a lot of you might remember, but he used to do a load of videos on YouTube. But I'm in a little WhatsApp group. On this group, he does like um, some weekends, he'll do like questionnaires where you can win s something or just for fun, like 30 questions, whoever gets the most answers. He does koi auctions all of the time. You know, sometimes there's one every single night about half past seven, eight o'clock ish. And then every single day while he's in the shop, he'll take a picture of two or three of the fish that he's got and he'll just put it up available on the WhatsApp group. I mean, sometimes there's some quality fish there. Sometimes there's some budget fish there. It's a right mixed bag. And I think that's the best way of doing it to, to give the option for everybody. Yeah, so there's a few rules on the actual group as well. So if you bid for a fish and you win a fish and you don't pay for a fish, then you get kicked from the group. There's other rules on the, on the actual page as well. And I don't know everything, the inside and out of it, but anyone that does join the group, you know, off of my behalf, of my recommendation, please don't, you know, don't abuse it or ruin it for other people. You, know, you can't speak to everyone, you can't put pictures on and all of that lot, unless he opens up, obviously Clayton himself is admin. He hasn't paid me anything to promote this. I paid for the fish in full cost myself. He didn't ask me to promote this. I just thought it was a decent little group and anyone wants to join it. I know there's a few other YouTubers that's already in the group as well. And, uh, yeah, it's happy days to be fair. You can get yourself a old of a bargain. There was the other week there was an actually a, a decent chag that he put up for £25 a ticket, like a raffle. He was open to sell 25 tickets. The fish in question was worth over £700, I think, or something like that, or £800. 
and then the winner got announced the other week pulled out of a hat for 25 quid you get yourself like an eight nine hundred pound fish for 25 quid i mean it's a gamble at the end of the day but if it's something that you wanted i mean i didn't buy a ticket myself it wasn't the sort of fish that i was into but for 25 quid for taking a punt at it he does little things like that so all i'm trying to say guys if you've got a spare time check the link in the description of the video and maybe go across and join the whatsapp group it is only for well i'm sure it's only for people in the uk i'm not 100 percent sure on that but yeah any other questions ask clayton himself or jump over to springbank coy on his facebook page i know you can get hold of him there and i know you can find the link there as well so uh I'll leave the link in the description. That said, look, the yibbity yabbada, jibbity jabbada is starting off, going off like hell. And on that note, I'm gonna end the video here, because, uh, well, look out now then. Thank you, mother of the rabbits.